we are back to the live trainings, the live walkthroughs. In this video, I'm going to be showing you six ways to make $300 a day using online real online businesses, not just some quick fats, not just some quick side hustles that are here today, gone tomorrow. These are real businesses that add value to real people that you can actually scale uh, that, and that won't give you this feeling in the stomach like you're uh, scamming people or anything like that. These are real businesses where you're adding real value. And it's a pretty good feeling when you can build a business that will not only take care of yourself, your loved ones for the years to come, but also add value to other businesses and people because that's what we're here to do as entrepreneurs. So very excited for this video. The way I'm gonna structure it is we're gonna have a bit of a you and me time. We're gonna, I'm gonna talk to the camera, but then I'm gonna jump on my computer and walk you through every single one of these online businesses. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna preface and I really wanna set the frame, right? Uh, for the whole video. And the way I'm gonna do that is by identifying the opportunity that we've got ahead of us. Not even ahead of us, but it's happening right now, right? And that opportunity is understanding that everyone is going to be or is currently selling something online. We're moving into a world where things are going to be digitalized. Everything is moving online. But since this transition has been quite abrupt and pretty fast for most businesses and most people who are realizing the opportunity, most don't really have a clue as to how to sell things online and let alone how to scale things up online, how to grow a business online. And that is where we're going to be coming in. So knowing those two things that everyone is or is going to be in five years selling something online, whether that's information, an actual product, a service, knowing that everyone is going to be selling something online, right? And knowing that most people have absolutely no clue as how to do that, right? Probably many of you watching this video don't really know how, much, how to do that just yet, right? The opportunity is creating an amazing asset like is a team that can grow brands online. Now here, I'm not just talking about Facebook ads and Google ads, and we'll talk more about that uh, in, in just a bit. And so the real asset here is building a team of experts who can grow things online within a specific sub niche. And if you can build this asset now in five, 10 years, when everyone uh, is selling something online and when the one thing that everyone wants is to sell more and to grow a business online, because not, not just because these are an opportunity at that point, but because it's literally dire circumstances, right? You are going to be the go-to person because over these years, you've built your track record and authority and you can get incredible results, okay? So that is the little preface that was vital to understand before we dive straight into these six uh, online businesses that can generate $300 a day. What I'm going to be doing right now is painting a very clear picture of what it actually takes to sell something online and you'll see where you can come in and help people with this one objective, which is selling a product or information online. Now, for that, I'm gonna be dissecting the sales funnel that people go through to purchase something online. And you'll see how this turns into the online businesses that I'm gonna be revealing at the end of the video. So, what is a sales funnel? That is the first question that uh, you wanna ask, that, that we're willing to uh, cover here, uh, because maybe you watching this video, you, maybe you've heard about, about this sales funnel concept uh, before, but you don't really know what it means. So a sales funnel is simply the journey we take a prospect who's never heard about our product or service toward uh, the purchase of this product service, right? And there's different stages. Uh, we've got awareness, right? Which is the top of the funnel. That is where most people are gonna fall into, right? They're aware of the product. They're aware of their need for this product. Um, Consideration is when they actually consider the purchase of the product. They start to see the, the true value of the product and it really enters, you know, it, it takes up more space in their mind. Preference, okay, here's where they, they're very, very close to that purchase. Uh, then we've got the purchase. And then this final bit of the funnel is, is actually quite important for uh, for me. And uh, I always keep it in mind, a lot of sales funnels end at that purchase. But for me, loyalty is a, is a key component, not only for e-commerce businesses, but also for, for example, agencies, right? Uh, the retention of your client is an incredible component, is an incredibly important component of a of the sales funnel, right? It's not just signing this client, but keeping this client for a long time. And that comes down to retention, loyalty, um, and getting people to come back for more and more, okay? So that is a, uh, a little brief description of what a sales funnel actually is. Um, and um, it's really important to understand this because this is the path that people take to uh, purchase a product from you. Now, if we look at the e-commerce funnel, I've gone ahead and broken down the e-commerce funnel into its subsequent uh, steps, okay? Now, this is obviously a simplified view, but I found it to be extremely helpful to convey the whole process, okay? Because if you can look at the different components that are needed for that purchase, then it's so much easier to see where you can come in and build a business out of this right now, okay? So the first component is gonna be the pay traffic plus uh, ad content, okay? 
obviously we could talk about organic traffic as well uh, we could talk about you know creating content on on um, on social media and getting people organically to come to the brand and, and purchase something right but for this example we're going to assume that these new customers are coming from paid traffic okay um what that means is facebook ads google ads tiktok ads pinterest ads snapchat ads right a bunch of different platforms that you can run ads um and you can show people a product, right? And you can uh, sell them onto it. So this paid traffic is paired with ad content, right? In front of these people, you're gonna have to put a video or an image and a bit of copy, okay? Ad copy. Uh, plus obviously the media buying component, which is running ads on these platforms. So that is the top of the funnel. That is how we get people inside this funnel, inside this e-commerce funnel. And where do we drive these people? We drive, it, we drive them to a landing page, right? Uh, what you would call a website, but a landing page tends to convert higher, right? It's, it's a specific landing page that has the product, has a bit more information about the product, maybe a video, uh, explain or a video on that uh, on that landing page. Uh, but we, that, that's really what we drive, where we direct all the traffic, right? All these people who have seen our ad, who have seen the ad for this brand, right? We direct all this traffic to that landing page. You'll see how this can turn into a, into a service that, that you can offer and make money out of, okay? On this landing page, they're going to see the offer. Okay, what we're offering we should have an irresistible offer something that really catches their attention something that really hooks them in and wants them you know and, want, and, and makes them want to buy right um once they see the offer obviously they have what, what i call the website journey okay and what i mean by that is okay they've, they've uh they, you know they, they've they've landed on this landing page but now what do they do on that landing page there's a myriad of, of things they could do they could check out all the content right they could go ahead and check out the content add to card they could even initiate checkout and not actually purchase right they could go ahead uh, see the content, add to cart, initiate checkout and purchase, right? That is the website journey. Uh, and you'll see how we can, again, turn that into a service. And the final thing is that all, all that leads into a purchase. Now, what I've gone ahead and added right below, as you can see uh, there, is direct marketing. Now, what I mean by that? Essentially, what I mean by that is there will be people who land on this uh, landing page, right? Who won't actually purchase. In fact, most people uh, won't actually purchase. Okay, um, We can go ahead and follow up with these people through retargeting ads driving more ads to to them right i'm sure you've uh you know you've uh, you've uh, landed on a website and all of, all of a sudden there you're seeing uh this ad this brand everywhere online right that's not because they're uh you know they're, they're uh, spying on you it's simply because there's a, a thing called facebook pixel that tracks you and then as advertisers we can use this pixel data to get in front of you okay and the same way that we can do that with paid traffic as with retargeting ads we can also do that with direct marketing if we've gotten a bit of information from them, whether it's an email address, whether it's a messenger um, chatbot uh, subscription, whether it's a uh, an SMS, right? Whether it's their phone number. So using that, we can then go ahead and uh, direct market to them. Okay, we can do email marketing to them, we can do SMS marketing to them, we can do messenger chatbots to them. Okay? So that is the uh, e-commerce funnel broken down uh, into a very simplified uh, way, but that is actually. Um, it's really easy to see what components are going to purchase. Now, most agency owners, if you ask any agency owner who's running the typical Facebook ads for clients, they think that basically someone goes from a Facebook ad to a purchase, right? And they completely neglect all these different components of the e-commerce funnel. Um, thus, they're not able to make as much money for their clients, which we'll talk about in just a bit. They're not able to make as much money for their clients or for their brands. Why? Because they're just looking at one component, right? They're blinded by one single service where they should be looking at the, the whole um, funnel, right? Because if your paid ads are very good, if your Facebook ads are very good, right? But your landing page sucks, that ad, that, that traffic, all, all those people that you're driving to that, um, that landing page are not going to come very, very highly. Same thing with the offer, right? If you've got an incredible landing page, incredible Facebook ads, but your offer sucks, then it's probably not going to work very well, right? Same thing with the uh, website journey, right? If your checkout process absolutely sucks or if your landing page looks very pretty, right? But it's not optimized for a purchase, again, people are gonna fall through, right? If, you're, if you don't have your marketing or SMS marketing and you're, and you're not getting onto these people, then you're gonna leave a lot of money on the table by not getting in front of people that haven't converted on that first instance, okay? And so all these components are vital. And the reason why that's incredibly important for us and for this video is because if these components are vital, and if they are vital to make a purchase, to get someone to purchase online, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming in and offering that, offering one of these services to uh, clients, people who are looking to sell something online. We're not going to be creating our e-commerce brands, right? We're not going to be uh, selling our products ourselves because starting a, a product-based business, especially as a beginner entrepreneur, and really if you're starting out in the online space, 
or really, really if you're a, a seasoned uh, entrepreneur, it's not the best idea, right? It takes up a lot of capital. It's a lot of headaches. You have to master a bunch of different components of a business, whether it's logistics, product development, marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So the key is to come into one of these services, into you know dissecting the e com and looking at um, what's needed to make that purchase and coming in as a service-based business, right? as an agency, as a consultant, and offering the service to them. Okay? Now, all these services, the great thing about, it, about them is that they're revenue-driven. They are purchase-oriented. Right? We help them out with the services for the one goal of getting more purchase for them, right? Of getting, of making them more money, which they're really happy about, right? It's not just a service that uh, looks pretty, right? Social media management, right? These are revenue driven services, all these services that make them money, right? They're part of the purchase e commerce funnel. Whoa, but before we continue, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you gently tap that gray looking, ugly looking uh, uh, like button and make it turn blue. The YouTube algorithm just loves when that thing turns blue and I'd really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've broken down the e-com funnel into the e-com service funnel. You can see how all of the different components of an e-com funnel turn into a service. Pretty cool stuff, right? For example, out of paid traffic comes Facebook ads, Google ads, Snapchat ads, TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, basically running ads on these platforms for these businesses as an agency, right? Being a Facebook ads agency or a Google ads agency or a Snapchat ads agency, TikTok ads, et cetera, et cetera, right? Out of ad content, which is absolutely vital for bringing people to the brand, right? And and, and fueling that top of the funnel, we can uh, offer viral e-com ad creation. I'm sure you've you've seen some of these uh, these incredible video ads on, you know, pop up on your, on your newsfeed on Facebook or Instagram. And these are, incredible assets, incredibly valuable assets for brands, right? Because these are the top of the funnel, right? The first interaction with the brand. And the more people you can hook in with this ad, the more people that are going to be retargeted, the more people that are going to enter the funnel and the more people that are going to buy, right? Well, if we talk about the landing page, how about creating landing pages for e-commerce brands, right? Uh, creating landing pages on Shopify, landing pages that actually convert, landing pages where uh, you know, business owners, founders of e com brands can send traffic and actually be confident about uh, the way this traffic is going to convert. Not just some low converting, bad looking uh, homepage, right? That says nothing about their brand or that has no specific call to action. If we talk about the offer on this landing page, we can offer copywriting services, right? Copywriting comes down to writing words that actually sell and that convert, right? People see the way this the, the, the offer is being described, right? People see the, the words that are being used to describe this offer. Uh, it hooks people in. It persuades people into buying this offer using just the power of words. If we look at the website journey, we can turn that into conversion rate optimization services, right? You can offer conversion rate optimization to e-com founders. Right, conversion rate optimization comes down to making tweaks uh, on your website that are going to lead more people to convert. Whether it's optimizing the checkout process, or whether it's uh, optimizing the landing page experience, or whether it's making uh, all buttons congruent, right, or, or whether it's making the call to action much more apparent, or whether it's creating a bit of a funnel right inside uh, the uh, in, inside the landing page. That is another uh, service. And finally, we've got direct marketing. Right, direct marketing we can turn into email marketing, so we can offer email marketing services to e-com founders, people who are selling something online. We can offer SMS marketing services. We can offer messenger chatbots, right? All this with one single objective, which is to ensure that these founders, these people who have these businesses make more money. And in return, we make money as well, right? Uh, the, the huge benefit of these services is that they have huge profit margins, right? Because you're not creating a product. You're just offering your and your team members expertise. Right? And also it has huge longevity because as long as you're making someone money, as long as you're making your clients money, they're never going to leave you. Right? Um, and it's a business where you're adding true value. It's not like dropshipping where, you know, there's, there's you know, no one really gains from that. Right? Uh, you have to wait uh, a month to, to almost get a product. Uh, there's no differentiation. The packaging is horrible. The customer experience is horrible. Uh, customer communication is just terrible. Right? Um, this is a business where you're adding true value because you're making them more money. Okay? So those are the six different services, the six different online businesses that you can create around these services that can make you $300 a day. These services, you only need two, three, four, five clients paying you two, 3K a month, which is not a huge amount given that you're actually making the money. Obviously, uh, the, the amount that you charge them is uh, in correlation to how much you make them, but it's not a huge uh, amount of money when you're making the money. You only need two, three, four uh, clients per
per month to make $300 a day. Once the service, once the online business is chosen, the next step would actually be to sell this service to uh, qualified e-com founders, right? And e-com brands. Now I could talk about this for hours on end on how you can sell on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, via email automations, et cetera, et cetera. But what I recommend you do is you check out this video right here where I show you step-by-step step some of the methods that I use to sign clients using Instagram. So, so go ahead and click on this video uh, to check that out. And do not forget if you found any value from this video, which, you know, if you got to this point of the video, probably means you did. Go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out a ton with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, and a ton of other really cool topics. So go ahead and do that. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.